So, hey, hey, welcome back to the channel again. This week we are going to have a very cozy studio vlog for you about what I have been doing the, during the week, starting November, setting up for the month, working on my new Christmas collection. This is Aria. She just went down from the desk. So yeah, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Chelsea Scalona. I am a digital artist living in Berlin. And you have just found my little corner. If you like, consider subscribing and leave it a like to the video. So let's start with the vlog. I was actually very happy for the beginning of November because it marks for me the start of celebrating Christmas, which is my favorite time of the year. So yeah, I was like waiting <laughs> to start getting into the Christmas mood. And this was actually also helping me to make progress on my Christmas collection, which as I told you in the last vlog, have been a little bit of a struggle for me for the last couple of weeks. But luckily with this time now, I am actually making some progress and getting things done as I ex expected them to be. One of the things that I was actually dying to do this week was to recreate a painting or an illustration, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, about one picture that I took in our last week uh, walking in the afternoon. There was this gorgeous yellow tree among a bunch of still green ones, which was odd for this time of the year here. But I have been having that picture in my mind that I took and I was like, I need to do an illustration of this and I also wanted to try it my new set of watercolors and watercolor brushes that I got and I was like, already used them a couple of months ago and haven't been able to put them for use ever again. The last clip that you saw was actually me testing the color palette to see what colors I was going to use. And here now I'm prepping the watercolor paper that I'm going to use, which actually was a little bit of sets that came with the brush pens. For this kind of drawings, I tried to use a red pencil, color pencil, to place the base sketch. And then my camera died. <laughs> so I was not able to record any of the painting process and therefore here you have a picture of the finish painting. I hope you like it. I know that I enjoy it a lot doing it and it was a refreshing moment in my afternoon. I needed to also rest from my iPad so this was a great way. The funny part about this is that this actually triggered my husband and he gifted me this amazing wooden easel that not only works for interior studios, but you can also take it to the exterior locations because it works on a tripod base. So you can place it on, on top of any surface and it will be balanced. And so this is a little unboxing that I'm making for you so that you can see it. I was so happy with this present because I've been actually wanting and wanted an easel for a while now but haven't made myself to buy it so he gifted it to me. He also got me a couple of canvases later on but these are not in the video. So here you are seeing, like I told you it's a tripod base so you can balance it and adjust the height that you want for the legs and for the canvas support. Thank you. 
It was pretty easy to adjust and here I was testing with this um, book that I had to make sure the alignment was the straight as possible for me. So when I place a canvas or a watercolor block, I won't be having crooked lines in my horizontal view. Also here I'm testing the height. I will have to adjust that because it was a little bit too high, but for the initial setting of the easel, I think it was pretty great. It looks amazing, so beautiful, so delicate. So thankful that he thought of gifting me this easel and I hope that I actually make a lot of paintings now in the future. So here's the thing, you are about to enter in my Christmas madness world <laughs> today. I want to start getting out the decorations to set it up maybe this Saturday but I still need to make like room for where I'm going to or where I want to put the tree this year because things that you don't know about the house lately is that we actually added let me show you a coat um, space for the entryway so this was the place where the tree was last year but now as you can see it's occupied we needed this so uh, it's time for me to find a new place for the Christmas tree and me and my husband were talking about it and we thought that maybe here where the lamp is it doesn't seem too much, but it's a pretty decent space. I think maybe if I squish this, this side, this to this, I will have to, of course, remove this from here temporarily. Then I can place the tree there. So all of this actually helps me to get in the mood for the Christmas collection that I'm working on. I have been actually making a lot of progress. Since this Monday, I started to make more progress this Monday and I'm actually happy about it. I like how the things are turning on, turning up. And yeah, I can't wait to like have all the stickers made and do the prints and stuff. Also because I have two our markets this month that I need to get really ready for. I will have to do that next week, so maybe next week will be actually a more busy vlog than this one. This is obviously going to be a short one because not much has happened besides me drawing and trying to work on this collection. So that. Yeah. So as if you watched last vlogs with video, you know that I have been working on my Christmas collection because I want to release it now in November, just in time for December gift and the holiday seasons when everyone, you know, is like trying to find something nice Christmassy related. I'm not working in a big collection or anything because I'm trying to slowly expand the type of products that I have on my shop. So. The thing was actually that I got into a bit of trouble to get into the mood and to plan ahead of the seasons because it's not something that I am used to do. So I was actually struggling to make progress with this collection. I had to eventually like make a list of what do I love of Christmas, what, do, what maybe would be funny to watch or that I would personally love. I am always starting from this base because, well, I have, so far I have only myself as a reference because since I am starting this whole print and stickers business, I still need to collect data of what people like and what's the best um, type of products that can be made. And this is something that I am still learning. Then when this week started, I was actually, I don't know if it was, if it was because the spooky season uh, was just coming to an end and my mind maybe was making peace with it. 
Then I was actually started to make more progress and I was able to design three new uh, sticker designs that will also be postcards eventually and I was actually able to finish them on time which was something that I was really really worried because I need them before the 18th like I need to have them here in my hands and yeah I was kind of getting nervous about not being able to make my own deadlines which is yeah it was worry for me luckily I am very happy with how the things turn up and I love the designs they are very simple designs very simple illustrations I actually even use reference of my old Christmas illustrations for this and yeah so far I, I've loved the end result so it's two and forty three minutes almost a little bit over 20 minutes for three in the afternoon I have finished my Christmas stickers they're not gonna be that many it's gonna be again a teeny tiny collection of Christmas related illustrations they're gonna be four stickers and right now according to what I have already done two illustrations maybe a third one I want to see if I get it on time but so far that will be all the Christmassy related stuff that I'm going to that I'm planning to like make for the next shop update small shop update and yeah now i just finished doing those drawings i already sent them to the manufacturer this time i ordered a little bit more of the original amounts from the other stickers that i ordered because since i have actually two markets this month maybe i i, I thought well maybe i should like double up because I'm not expecting to be like sold out or anything but from my first market the stickers is something that obviously sells a lot and I don't want to like run the risk of running out of any of them in such a, such a short time period between one market and the other it will be a back-to-back -back, uh, market my first back-to-back -back experience by the way on an art market the first one it will be just for a Saturday, which is it will be fine. The second one is actually an entire weekend, like Saturday and Sunday is not gonna have a Friday. I mean, I'm actually grateful for that because again, I'm trying to like ease in into these kind of events. But yeah, it's gonna be my first weekend on an art market. I can wait. I'm I'm actually getting hyped again about these upcoming events. And now I'm happy that I actually got to send the stickers to the manufacturer because I believe that they, they will be on time for me to bring them to those events and to have them before December in case you want to check the shop and grab one for yourself. I am actually... I'm not sure if there's a point saying this in this video because I'm not sure if I'm gonna have it before Saturday, I mean it's Thursday today, I was supposed to be editing YouTube videos today but since I didn't have much for this week's blog I'm kind of trying to like generate some content about what I've been doing these days so I don't know if it's going to be live on Saturday but I was running a shop sale this week where everything was 10% off only for this week I was um, trying to make some movements from the products on the store because it has been very slow. The major movement that I had was with the art market that I went on September. And yeah, I thought that maybe having a shop sale would be like, you know, be attractive for some people. So far, no one has got anything from the shop. I have had visits on the shop, but well, no sales so far. Besides the sales they already have in 
September and October, which I am very grateful for. But so yeah, that's the status on the shop update right now. I have done the stickers. Now I just got to wait for them to come and I'm now going to start the line art for the second illustration that it will be a print and a postcard most likely as well and then then next week I actually need to start working towards the things that I need to do for the markets I still need to get a new tablecloth that is bigger than the one that I already have because since the tables are like really big I need a big fabric and that's something that I need to do next week also I need to buy a foldable chair because one of the markets the first one to be to be honest the first one market they ask you to bring the chair so I need something I don't know if I'm gonna find it <laughs> honestly and I'm terrified to if I don't find anything to have to spend the day standing because it's gonna be hard so I finger crossed that I actually find a foldable chair affordable <laughs> also <laughs> that I can squeeze into my suitcase where I move all of the inventory and stuff for the table stall so yeah that's one of the things I need to do next week which is already tight for me but I had to wait until next week because of financial stuff that, you know, you need to plan monthly because otherwise you will lose all your money all at once and we don't want to go that way <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the other things that I need to do and then print a little bit more of signs because I, I don't know if you remember, I actually took some notes from my farm market experience uh, where I was like, me and my husband, uh, he helped me with that. We highlighted like things that we noticed that we needed to improve. They're like very tiny and things that I can do here. I want to do those next week too, so that I can like shoo, take that off my head and then print the things that I need to print which are not that many, but I already got the materials for those because those came last week. So yeah, so far everything is pretty much on track. Business-wise. And yeah, I will see you later. And now, circling back on the Christmas thing that I was telling you, I do love Christmas. It's like my favorite season of the year and... I was really waiting for this moment to bring out all my Christmas decor and start building up the stuff. So this was actually Friday night. <laughs> I was um, got the help with my husband to get the things out and now you're seeing me here setting up the Christmas tree. This is always a process that takes a bit of time because it's a bit a bit of a big Christmas tree. I think it's actually the biggest that I have ever had. And well, it takes some time to like spread the branches and you know, open up all of them and make it look uh, fluffy and beautiful. So yeah, I have a plastic Christmas tree because you know, I think that it's best to have plastic ones than to actually chop real trees just for, you know, have a momentary decoration of some, play, uh, of some time of the year. I mean, I know that some people may have those traditions, but since I came from Cuba, we actually had just the plastic ones and I actually like the... I feel it's more actually nature friendly than doing the actual tree. And you know, I can always take it out every year and if I just wanted to change the look, I can always get new decor. Here I'm getting actually last year's decor because I love the ones that I got. I actually did make some additions this year, but I haven't received them all yet. 
that should arrive this week and yeah you can see here I got my box full of stuff <laughs> it was actually hard to close that box <laughs> last year and there you have it my gorgeous Christmas balls this is I, I really love this time guys and I don't know I hope that you feel the joy and the hope that comes with this time of the year and I would love to know if you like Christmas as much as me because I really really like this one <laughs> And this is the moment where I realized that I cannot decor the tree yet because I'm missing the new lights. I want to place white lights this year. So yeah, but I did was able to actually hang the Christmas ring. I don't know how this is said in English, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's my little door decor. So yeah, I hope that you liked the video. Leave it a like and don't forget to subscribe and see you next week. Bye bye.